it's been a hot minute. Uh, I disappeared for months. And we're back doing a video. So today we are doing a review video on some some products. I just wanna I wanna test them out. So if you wanna see how we did this, gonna have to keep on watching. But first, guys, have you liked the video? Are you subscribed to the channel? No? Then what are you waiting for? Click those little buttons down below and let's get on into the video. Hey guys, welcome back. So good morning. Hello, hello, good morning. Kevin Hart in my head. Today I want to try out some new things. So it's like a little get ready with me. I have nowhere to go because we're in England. One, it's raining. Two, it's cold. Three, I'm probably just going to go to the post office. So not really fun. Um, but yeah, I just having a better day today. So I just want to do a little video and um, I'm going to be trying out the new Mark Hill hair dryer that I've actually got. Um, so on that little pamphlet it says all the gear and no idea. And then it just says it's got a slim um, concentrated nozzle. So I've got here a 2000 watt mon uh, motor airline uh, air inlet grill. Heat speed control, cool shot which is great and it's got a 3 meter cable which I think is awesome as well. It come in a massive box. Came in this huge box here. Obviously, on my channel, I have done um, the like click and mix and match uh, adaption, which you could do straight in, and obviously curling. So it's a lot curling, but now they've got new ones. So we will be using that. Um, but in this box is the Mark Hill style added. So for a perfect blow dry up kit, contents are worth sixty pounds. So you get two little hair rollers. You get two little clips to style your hair with, you get a hairbrush which is in the other room and you get the style and heat protection. It basically covers up to 235 degrees on protection for heat for your hair and obviously the hair dries off. So I got it for Christmas, I know it's a little bit late but I'm excited to try it out so i see what it's about. A little bristly bit down here, that's exciting. Right so fresh hair. She's looking crazy. This is a mess. Right. So that's, I love these little lock bits on these. So let's just coat my hair. It's got a strange smell to it. Like I like it, but like a distance like it's like a really sweet coconut-y kind of smell I don't know it's a mixture of my shampoo to be fair but it's got a like an alcohol smell to it and I'm not about that life I don't I don't like that stuff coming out of my hair um and then I'm just gonna put some of the Garnier Fruta Sleek and Shine Anti-Frizz Serum so the serum uh, I think I've talked about it before they used to do it in England um but they kind of stopped and my auntie managed to find it in Australia um, that's where she lives so I managed to get quite a few tubs from out there um, I think it's only like Australian Canada something like that that do it which is strange right hair bubble so I'm going to section my hair to just give it a quick blow dry my hair takes a while to dry anyway so this helps out Let's see how we get on with this. So, I'm gonna give it a little brush through. Excuse the fact that I've got a tiny brush. <laughs> I love it. It's one of those ones you get while your hair dries sometimes. So, I got this one. Okay, let's give it a whirl. I'm gonna stick it on heat two. Yeah, number two. I don't like it that hot on my hair. Just a little, little damp still that I can was over afterwards. That's really nice. It's actually really smooth. Yeah. 
I mean, I have cut my hair, but it's growing back a little long now, which is alright. I don't mind. I did cut up to like my shoulders. Yeah, I think it's a nice hair dryer. It's super like not that heavy. It's quite easy to do with. Oh my get I'll be back with half my head on with my head done. Okay, so literally all of it's nearly dry. This is sides look damp. I've still got this bit to go. But how straight is actually kind of like coming out while we're using that head and the hairbrush is incredible because my hair is naturally quite curly wavy but this is actually really nice and it feels really nice as well like I know like they didn't really like do much but I don't ever really blow dry my hair so quite impressed but I'll be back when it's dry okay hair is like dry but we are a frizzy mess. Can you see what I said? It just naturally kinks. This is, this is what I get left with. Like, crazy mess. It's all crazy. Okay. So now I want to do another one with Mark Hill. I want to try. It's a um, smoothing brush. So there's a new one here. So obviously they do a pig and mix range, which I pretty much have all the barrels for them anyway. We've got another heat protection as well, which I think I I like this one a lot more. I did, but again, it has a weird like smell to it. I don't know, it's weird. Okay, right, let's grab it out. It is hefty. Look, I'm, I'm honest, it's hefty, it's cute quite heavy so they have loads so this one you just basically click into it and it's just like a hairbrush which is great because every time I do my hair I can brush it and brush it and brush it and it will just not back up so that's quite fun let's stick the component in I'm going to turn it on and I'm just going to literally let that set and heat up and when I do that I'm going to section my hair off like so and then I'm going to section it in half again Oops. Okay, so that one's with a button. Let's try these clips out. So let's try and twiddle. See if we can get it to semi hold it. Right. Stick to it because I know for full fact my hair is heavy and not a lot of things can hold I've let it heat up for a couple of minutes let's I'm just I'm just gonna okay I'm gonna get a natural look at the end of my hair anyway so that's I'm just trying to I think that's good like look at that I mean my nightgown's not exactly helping but that's good I'm just going to slowly brush through a couple of times just like a normal straightener you would take your time on each section and you wouldn't like just brush like this because it's not it's not going to do anything so with these you have to kind of like establish that you need to go over a couple of times like a hairbrush just brushing it that's mad like can we see the difference of like fluffy to like tamed like how drastic that has changed it. Oh my god, that's amazing. That's 
insane. I'm gonna go do the rest of my head and I'll come back with like the front bits. Okay, so I've left these two fringe bits out because I want to do them on camera so we can show you how it went. So I literally just grabbed my brush and I would just brush for it. Like so, frizzy bits. And I'm just going to. One swipe. I mean. It's cute. Like, that's madness. I can feel how like hot it is on my face but it's awesome and then I'm just brushing over just to make sure like this is crazy I haven't seen myself with like, straight hair in so long I mean it's okay for the ends like my ends are like thick so they kind of like stick themselves together and they're like, mm-mm, not budging. But they're not like flicking like, like a Susie doll. But, yes, I'm legit obsessed. Okay, let's move on to the piece. Hello. Okay, so it's a little bit later on i had some breakfast tonight um but hair is still still kind of there still a little on like a straight kinking into the weave but when it really first so i've gone off and done brows primed me eyes um ready to get started so i don't really know what look i'm going for today okay i want to like a double wing this like but i'm gonna like base it down so i've got two parts i've got the morphe Morphe 90 and I got NARS Skin Deep Palette. These two here. So I'm gonna have a little play around, giving like a soft and warmer touch into the eye crease um, before we do anything. This warm shade here. I like the fact that it's got a, a mirror. So I'm just gonna stamp it in that outer corner. And then slowly stamp it through in the crease. I'm just going to buff out those edges up through. And then I go into the top corner and mix a bit of both in together. I just want to hit into that brow bone. So I just want to gently diffuse them in. Cool, let's do the other eye. Uh, I'm just going to use the flat edge and I'm just going to go into that white and I'm just going to front there and do like a half crease get in that nice neutral brow and I'm just going to blend it Okay, figured it out. This is the liner we're going for. So, I'm gonna make some little dots. So, I'm using the primer. Um, liquid eyeliner and then I'm just using Maybelline wing eyeliner but I'm kind of like putting a little extra on top of it because it's a little dry Camera and just change that angle quickly. Okay, back. 
Let's put on some mascara. Good old trusty in Maybelline Last Sensational. It's like my all time favourite mascara. Like that, beautiful. Grab a Benefit Pore Professional. And let's cover all of these pores. Here's the Primark and um, Foundation and Contour Stick. So I've got Honey. It's a summer colour, for definite, but we're gonna mix them up a bit. Ta da! Um, foundation. So the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder, I really do like this one. Smack it on your face. e.l.f. Camo Concealer. I go up so quickly with this because it dries insanely quick. A little bit more. It gives us that like jawline. Perfect. Okay, let's move on. So let's put the bronzer down. So it's a collection bronze glow in matte. It's gonna work that around the face. Then benefit any tint. my finger just gonna pat that in giving like a peachy peachy nose the Primark Prime and infused like mist so I'm gonna just shake it up and spray a brush down be perfect sub zero by Mama Mitchell we're going in with in our blankets and baby Oh yeah, there she is. She does have my whole face in it to be fair. Okay, gonna go off camera, do some lashes. We're back for lips. I am proud, okay? I got these lashes on. Apart from this one when I was just turning the camera back on. It was like, hmm, we go and stick off. I was like, no, we ain't, we ain't doing that. We ain't doing that here. Get on the eye. Okay. I'm gonna go big, bold, red. Why not? Let's have a red lip. Okay, pencil. She needs to sharpen them. Like, she's looking a little used and abused. And then we've got our lipstick. Let's get that shape. Let's just outline. Oh, we're gonna keep it like this. Ooh, look like a moustache. Just like so. Then we're going in Nars with Style and I love this one. Ugh. It's so tiny the applicator. Okay, uh. Oh, look at that. If that isn't a beautiful red. We've got no lips. Oh, this. This lip. I'm obsessed with. Okay, go off. Kind of getting dressed, and we will end the video there. So I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Yay! This is the final look. I think it's cute. It makes your eyes look 
really big and bold red we got a match up in here so this is it hope you guys have enjoyed my hair is still like i said the fronts get on a kink but i absolutely love the tool i think the mark hill stuff is awesome i'm not a fan of the heat spray don't don't like the smell um a bit too strong for me but overall a big thumbs up yay but yeah this is the first time i've done makeup in a while and it feels good it does feel really good so i hope you guys have enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up leave a comment down below on the next video that you guys want to see if you are not subscribed don't forget to hit that little subscribe button and see me back for another video but until then see you later